This is an Ernie Ball 6165 stereo pan pedal. It is two pounds. You could probably take nail this thing into a block of wood. I wouldn't suggest doing it, but this thing is built like a tank. A solid aluminum C channel, one piece bottom, has a quarter inch solid aluminum plate at the top. This is the back side. The back pulley slides on an eighth inch, looks like either stainless steel or aluminum bar. It's probably a stainless steel bar. This is a Kevlar woven string. It's free to move, it will not bind. They put a plastic bushing in an aluminum L bracket bolted to the top plate. I don't think it's going to wear out, at least not for this end. You can see way down in front there, there's a spring. Let's go down to the other end, to the front end, and take a look at this thing. You have an A, an A input for mono, a B for stereo. If you have two mono inputs, A and B, control the A and B out. A, B. The front is constructed much the same way. The Kevlar string comes into a L bracket, an aluminum L bracket with a plastic bushing at the top. Down here is where the pots are. The volume pots are underneath here. And then this is what's limiting the pedal when the presses from going any further. Here's a switch. This switch is actually controlling whether or not you're going using the stereo mode. Click for pan back to stereo, back to pan, really nice, solid. Again, this is 8th inch uh, uh, aluminum plate. The switch for your toe has the same non-skid on it while your foot's on here. It's a quick flick one way or the other, not a problem at all. Very nice. As you can see when this thing rolls, you know, the string is on this, the tension is held by the spring, so as the pedal rolls back and forth, you can see this pulley here being rotated. It's kind of like a sail winch. The string comes down, goes around this, this pulley, which is wrapped at several times, goes to the spring, goes to the back, where we've seen that before. The bearing that the main plate ro rotates on is a half inch diameter, stainless steel. Backstop. Front stop. Quarter inch thick, one piece of aluminum two pounds. You could probably nail with that, but 162 bucks, I don't think you want to be nailing anything with this. But there's a lot of people out there going, well, you know, it says that when you're, you're up or down, you get full volume, but in between, it's half volume. Well, they probably didn't read this. It says right there, when A and B are halfway down, it will be at 50% volume. Oh, well, they told you. But then it's sort of annoying. I'm a harmonica player, and that is a problem, but I've eliminated that. It's just a matter of how you adjust what's coming in here, because putting in just a sure green bullet to the, to the mic here, and going out to your amp here, you either have full volume one way or the other, but in between, you have nothing. I get everything here. I have everything here, but if I'm somewhere in between here, I have no signal going to my amp. Well, how do you explain to your wife you just spent 162 bucks for two pounds of what she would consider a doorstop? We'll fix that. We have the Ernie Ball set up here. On my pedal, this is what I have. 
I run a Digitech th Vocal 300. I'm a harmonica player, obviously. From here, when it comes out of the box and you have a normal setup, and say you're using it for what it's supposed to be doing, like for people that are using it for vocals, A, I don't know why you would use this for vocals, but it's a great um, uh, pedal for a harmonica player or guitarist. You have a bypass. Out of the box, you have, I set this thing to something I call blues, but then on bypass, if the gain's set to 10, when I go to bypass or come out to blues or whatever else I have set here, if you have in bypass, there's no volume change between bypass and what whatever mode you're in. And I thought at 10%, going from here through the pedal chain out to the amps, well, there's no difference in the vocal. However, when you do that, it, it messes up with this ha having this in the chain. What you'll find out for a harmonica player is that for almost 10 percent, you're still 10 percent up, or 10 percent, almost 10 percent to close the other way. So 80 percent range in here means there's no volume. Oh great! I just spent under 62 bucks for a doorstop and two pounds of it. Can't tell that to the wife. So how do you fix that? I mix through the Mackie before I either go to my amp or before I go to the board. So there's some there's some advantages here for understanding that this is only set to 50% when you're halfway through either in volume or pan. You can get around that. You go back here. So if you have probably a Line 6 or another Digitech product, what you want to do is go to the gain setting to 23. When I set to 23 and go to bypass, I'm going to go from almost no volume to almost twice the volume. I need volume here to feed my pedal chain to feed this that goes to the amps. But what happens when you do that? Well, this is really kind of neat. So, what you want to do is get this set to 50%, bring your play through the uh, Digitech bring your amp level until you, you, you have your light halfway up. Then, when you're almost, when you're 10% from closure one way or 10% closure from the other, you have volume and pan control in this range and you don't have noticeable volume difference. What's nice about that is, you know, sometimes you just need to be heard. Get all the way up here for the sound man and you push it all the way back here for the Sandman, he controls his board, or you adjust your amp, and you're playing with a band, and sometimes you just want to be heard. The last 10% this way adds 4 to 6 dB on your level. Same here. You're almost there. You punch down the last little bit. You bring another 4 to 6 dB here. You're going to be heard. <laughs> so, Adjust this thing half at 50%, bring your levels up here, you can get 80% of the movement in, in on pedal, whether it's pan or stereo, no noticeable difference in the uh, volume, and then the last punch one way or the other, you can be heard for those places times where that needs to happen. I hope this helps you set up your Ernie Ball. I don't know how it works for a guitar, but that's what's working well for harmonica, and good luck to you. Thank you for uh, tuning into the video. Bye.